Picturing America is a project by the National Endowment for the Humanities. And what it was is a resource uh, kit, but it's beyond the regular curriculum kit. It's on a little box. It's a huge uh, 20 by 30 size posters of, of 40 iconic images in American history. Um, and from the revolution to the present day era. And it was an open, open call for schools and districts to apply and they were, uh, every school could apply for one. Uh, and in, our, in New York City, every school got one. Every public school in New York City got one. So we developed, and along with the city, developed lessons using the, the images and looking at art in general and tailored it to the classroom use, elementary, middle, and high school. And we've been able to use those images um, both in our training in TAH sessions and also we sponsored um, after school workshops and how for teachers and how are you using it. First it was a question of like go find it because teachers would say well, we didn't get that but and of course they did and sometimes it was in a storage closet or it was decorating the principal's, uh, the principal's office and um, so part of it, the first step in using Picture in America has been to go get it. And then the images are front and back, so lots of times they have them um, displayed in a hallway or permanently, which of course means the teacher can't use them in her classroom. And you also lose the one that's on the reverse. Um, so that's been uh, the first thing that we've had to do is ascertain, you know, yes, you have this, it's somewhere, let's see if we can put it in the hands of teachers. Um, and then sometimes there's a lot of proprietary notions in a school that comes in and someone, it could be the guy on the loading dock, it could be the principal, someone says that goes to the librarian or that goes to the art teacher. And depending on how professionally generous the, that person is, she or he may share it with other teachers and or uh, not in which case in some you know those are the worst cases but in general we found that it's a great resource it's free the teaching um, spiral binder that comes with it provides more than adequate you don't have to be an art historian to see how the, some of the context of it it's been a lot of fun